Okay, so what is the offer expiration date? In a real estate purchase and sale agreement, this is the date by which the buyer's initial offer must be accepted. So if the seller has an offer review date that they're firmly sticking to, perhaps I would go down the route with my buyers to have our offer expire the day after the review date. On the flip side, if we wanted to apply some pressure, say to the seller, the offer's here, but it's going quick, we could write the offer to expire prior to the review in an effort to try and stave off the competition. We talk about this all the time. When you, as the buyer, present a purchase offer to the seller, one of three things happen. They will accept your offer, they will counter your offer, or they will reject your offer. Now, most commonly, they counter your offer. But when you have an offer out, the ball is in the seller's court to respond. This is why the expiration date is actually really crucial because you have control over your time. Your offer isn't just floating out there and you have the ability to use some real strategy to try and draw attention to the offer. Note that if no expiration date is specified for an offer counteroffer, the offer counteroffer shall expire two days after it is delivered. That's in Washington, of course.